Not guilty, a Tierra Santa mom whose toddler was found dead in a car last month enters her plea. The judge setting her bail at $1 million. I'm Marty Ojeda. I'm Katherine Garcia. Priscilla Harris is facing 12 years behind bars, stemming from the death of her toddler, Scarlett Harris. A complaint filed against the 24-year-old mother says that she left her home shortly after midnight on August 5th to go to a friend's house. However, it's not clear if her daughter was in the car at the time. The complaint says paramedics found the toddler's lifeless body with a temperature of 106 degrees. The complaint adds they tested the car's internal temperature at at least 150 degrees. Harris was arrested last week and charged with a felony. She is expected to be back in court early next month. Two families have been left homeless after a fire destroyed a trailer in Mountain View and burned another house so badly they can't live in it. Take a look at video of the fire that started around 2.30 this morning. The trailer's owner says he was at work when it happened, but his wife and two dogs were inside the trailer but managed to escape the flames. Smoke from the fire traveled to the main house and damaged part of the garage. Crews had to cut through the roof, leaving two more adults and four kids without a place to stay. We was in Santee for a year and a half, living in the bush. So we came from the bush, made all our way up to living in the van, getting a car, then buying a pop-up trailer for 600, and we finally got somewhere to put it. Well, the American Red Cross provided the families with enough money for groceries and a place to stay for the next few days. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Lincoln High School wants to help spark change at San Clemente High after racial slurs were made against students at a recent football game between the schools. Since the incident, San Clemente's principal apologized in a letter saying they strive to be diverse and welcoming, but their own students admit they have work to do. The principal laid out an action plan that includes working with the Anti-Defamation League to provide resources, training and support to address bias, bullying and hate speech. Meanwhile, at Lincoln, the principal says she plans to post her full findings on the investigation early this week. Police are looking for the gunman who shot a 19-year-old man in the stomach at a Claremont Park last night. It happened just before 10 at the North Claremont Recreation Center. Police say the 19-year-old was in the back of the park when he was shot. He managed to walk to the front of the park where somebody saw him and called police. He was rushed to the hospital where he was last listed in critical condition. Police do not have a description of the gunman. It is officially fall, but temperatures still seem a little bit more like summer. Dagmar joins us now to tell us what we need to know and what we can expect to see this week. All right, so we are in our second day of fall. It is going to be a fairly warm one. It will be the warmest and driest day of the week. Your Tuesday along the coast will be mostly sunny, a few clouds, mostly higher clouds, close to 80 for the high. Inland valleys, mid to upper 80s, warm there, a few passing high clouds. Mountains, maybe a few cumulus in the mix as well, but drier offshore winds pushing through the mountains, and the deserts will feel it as well. Mostly sunny skies, mid to upper 90s. So a dry and a warm day for our second day of fall. After that, we have another Another switch up, so enjoy this. It's Diaper Need Awareness Week, where you can help local families with some extra help by buying diapers for their baby or toddler. You can donate diapers at the offices of San Diego Democratic Assembly member Lorena Gonzalez, Shirley Weber, Todd Gloria, and more. The donations will be accepted till Friday and go toward the San Diego Food and Diaper Bank. It's almost that time of year again for Kids Free San Diego during the month of October. Children can get in free at participating attractions as long as they're with a paying adult. That includes places like SeaWorld, the zoo, Legolands and one of the many museums across the county. More than 130 organizations are taking part this year. Check it out. We have a full list on our website. That is all for us tonight for our nightly check-in here on the NBC7 app. We are live on TV every night at 6 and 11. We'll have breaking news updates all week long on NBC7.com and on our mobile app. Good night.